surgical airway is at the end of every airway management algorithm. However, most of us have no experience in performing surgical airway. Today, I will teach you how to create your own surgical airway dummy so you could practice and improve your motor skills and muscle memory for surgical airway. You will be needing a thick cardboard, a thin cardboard, an old anesthesia breathing circuit, some mucoplasts, and foam. Okay? The anesthesia breathing circuit could be used as a model for trachea. We will make a hole So we make a hole on the breathing circuit to represent the trichothyroid space Next we'll Draw a butterfly on the Soft cardboard. This will represent the thyroid cartridge. So when we position it like this, they could fill the thyroid cartridge. I close the other end of the breathing circuit to represent a closed airway. Next, secure the anesthesia circuit on the board. I place another tape in front of the cricothyroid space to indicate the Cricothyroid membrane. Then I secure the thyroid cartilage. Now your dummy is almost ready. If you want to simulate a thin patient, you could place leucoplast on top of this already. However, if you want a patient with adipose tissue, you could use some foam in front. To simulate soft tissue on the neck of the patient. Now, your dummy is ready. To test our dummy, let's perform a needle cricothyroidotomy. You could use a reservoir bag to represent the lungs. To test our dummy, let's perform a cricothyroidotomy. First, identify the cricothyroid membrane. Insert the needle perpendicular. Okay, once you feel the give, remove the needle. So after loss of resistance, aspirate to check for bubbles to confirm your inside the lumen. Okay. We could also perform scalpel buji technique. If you want to make it more realistic and you want some bleeding, you could place a suction catheter near the cricothyroid membrane. Again, place the foam to simulate the adipose tissue, the soft tissue in the neck. 
place um, Yoko Plus to serve a skin. Now, in performing scalpel budget technique where there is a lot of soft tissue in the front of neck, perform a vertical incision in the area of the thyroid membrane around 4 cm. After incising the skin, perform finger dissection so that you won't injure the cartilages with the scalpel. Once you've identified the cricothyroid membrane, make a horizontal incision on the cricothyroid membrane and then twist the scalpel vertically. Okay? Get the bougie. Slide the bougie against the scalpel until it enters the trachea. Remove the scalpel. Insert the ET tube. Remove the bougie. Inflate the cuff. Then ventilate. You could simulate bleeding. To do this, after vertical incision, you could infuse some dye, betadine, on the area to simulate bleeding. So they could perform finger dissection while there's bleeding. Again, perform a horizontal incision on the cricothyroid membrane. Rotate it vertically. Insert the bougie. Insert the ditty tube. 